Hey guys, okay, so this video is to help you learn how to um, create your version of a Google form. So when you're getting the form in the Google Drive, you're gonna see where you have to add, you have to request access. So let me show you an example. Um, well, it might not show because I, here, let me show you this one. So if you're in, your Google Drive and I want access to this form. I'm going to have to click request edit access. What that does is it sends your upline coach an email. So me, uh, Micah, another coach, you're going to request edit access. Once it's granted, the reason that we had to do this is because if we leave it open, um, a lot of times people begin editing it and that is not good. So we want to kind of protect the information. So all you need to do is click edit access. We get a quick email and we give you access. Once you get access, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it will look like when you have access. You see that there's a lot, there's a variety, there's your ability to change things around. So this is the form. This is once I've gotten access to my form. What I want to make sure to do, it's going to open up, but before I start writing on anything, because you're getting access to this form, to the one that everyone else has. So when I get in here, I want to click these three dots on the top and click make a copy. So I'm going to make a copy and it says copy of this welcome. So I know that that's mine. I'm going to exit out of that original one. And here's my copy in here. This is now mine. So I'm going to I'm going to change this and you know and make it make it mine. Um, so Ashley's Inspiration Crew Welcome. Okay, so now this is my copy. When I send this link or when I send the link, it's going to go to my form. So now you see that I can edit everything in here. If I want to say, you know, welcome to the Inspiration Crew, I can. I can change whatever I want about it. If I want to change any of the writing in here, I can. Um, if I want to add in a different video or I want to take out a section or I want to add a certain, a different graphic if I don't like this one or um, anything that you want to do, you can change any of that. If some of these questions, if you don't care about some of these questions, then totally change them around and, and do something different. So you don't have to use everything that's in here. You can totally change up what you're asking everybody. So that is what you, this is what you have once you create that, um, the edited, the edible, edible, editable <laughs> form. So let me show you a couple things that you can do. So this is my form. What I can do up here is first, I can choose to change up here, the top bar. If I want to change that, what I'm going to do is I could change, I could do a color if I wanted to. Um, I could change, you know, any color I want. And this bottom part down here just goes based upon, it gives it a complementary color to the top banner that you choose. Or I can choose to add my own image. And it allows me to go up here. I can choose from all the images that are already available in here. Or I could go to an upload photo or go to my albums that are on my computer and it would let me upload a picture there as well. So that's how I'm going to change the top banner. If and when you ever want to see, what are people going to see when I send it to them? What is it going to look like? You can click this eyeball up here and it gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. So this is what people are going to get when they go through your form. So if you ever want to see a quick glimpse of it, that's what you can do. You can click that eyeball and it gives you just a quick view as to what it looks like. Now, when I click on settings up here, this is where I can also have the option to, you know, to choose a couple things. So um, this is my confirmation page. When people click submit on the form, I can decide to give them a little bit of a, a message here, say thank you so much for completing it, blah, 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 um, telling them what the next steps are going to be. And I can allow them to either submit another response, edit a response, that kind of thing, see a summary of what they've written. And for me, I pretty much only do the show the progress bar, and that just lets them know how much more they have um, on their form when they're completing it. Now, a couple other things. If you want to, oops, sorry, we're gonna go to send. This is how you send a form. So up here, if you wanted to send it via email, this is how you would do it, um, where you can in include it as an attachment. Now, what I normally do is I click this link here and I click shorten URL and I copy this. This is what I send to my new coaches and this automatically opens it up to be the form that they would edit so or that they would fill out for my new coaches 
Now, one other option that you have, which is really nice on your own personal form, is to click in here and you can go to responses. Obviously, this is my copied one, so I don't have any responses yet. But when I do, one really nice thing is they're going to all show up here and I can actually view them in a spreadsheet. So this is my, um, this is my new spreadsheet. I want to create a new one and I click create and now every response that I get for this specific form is going to go in here and it just automatically updates for myself it automatically saves because we're in the Google format for Google um, Excel or Google spreadsheets and so it's really nice to be able to have all my new coach information right here readily available for me to look at and compare and, and you know go back to if I need to one thing that you need to make sure when you're on this response bar is make sure that you have it set up to where you get email notifications. That means that it's going to send it to your email. When somebody fills out the form, you're going to get an email from Google saying so and so created, you know, responded to your Google form. And so that's going to send you an email and inside the email, you'll be able to just click the, the link and it'll take you here to see their, their whole entire response. So that's a really nice option. You can also select to have it go somewhere else. But for me, I like it to go to my email. And then you also have the option to download all of your responses if and when you want to. So hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit of insight on how to request access on your form, what that looks like, and then what to do once you get in here on your Google form and a little bit about how to customize it for you and for your team. All right, guys, have a good day.